Today I'm going to teach you the Ford Fulkerson algorithm by taking you through a step-by-step -step example. Ford Fulkerson is a method for computing the maximum flow in a flow network, which is just a graph whose edges have a capacity for flow. Maximum flow is simply the maximum amount of something, anything really, that you can move from a starting node to an ending node. When you learn about Ford Fulkerson, you may hear terms like minimum cut and residual graph. However, I won't discuss these in this video because I want to focus specifically on an example. Just know there is additional theory behind the algorithm. Back to our problem. To reiterate, we're trying to find the maximum flow from a source node to a sink node. We'll do this by finding augmenting paths from the source to the sink. An augmenting path is simply a path whose edges are either non-full and forward or non-empty and backward. Basically, a path that still has capacity for flow. You'll see exactly what I mean by this in the example. Here's the flow network we'll use. S will be our source and T our sink. We'll start by setting the flow to zero. The number on the left is the current flow through the edge and the number on the right is the total capacity for flow. We're ready to start. Here's how we'll do this. At each iteration, we'll first find a path, then compute the bottleneck capacity, which is simply the edge in the path with the smallest capacity, and finally we'll augment our path. We'll repeat these three steps until we can't find an augmenting path. Let's start at S and look for a path to T. Remembering the edges in our path must be non-full and forward or non-empty and backward. Let's choose the following path first. The bottleneck capacity is A to D, a value of 8. We'll augment all edges with this value. Also note that each node must remain in equilibrium. That is, the flow into the node must equal the flow out of the node. We're done augmenting. So let's look for our next path. This looks like a good one. The bottleneck capacity is 2 in this case, because edge dt only has a capacity of 2. Let's update the flow with this value. On to the next path. I'm going to specifically choose a path with a backward edge, so you can see how the algorithm works in this case. Note that our path includes going from d to a, even though the edge itself is directed from A to D. This is what I mean by a backward edge. Also notice D to A is not empty. So if we push four units from C to D, we can take away four units from D to A. Four being the bottleneck capacity we receive from edge A, B. This may seem confusing, but just remember that each node must remain in equilibrium. In other words, while we add flow to our forward edges in the path, we take away flow from the backward edges. Let's look for another path. This looks like a good one. In this case, edge S to A provides our bottleneck capacity with the value of 2. We update our flows. Again, let's search for a path and augment the flow. We now have a flow value of 19. One more time, let's search for a path. Looking at S to A, we can see the path is full. Now looking at S C, we notice we have a capacity of 1. However, the forward edge C D is full, and the backward edge C A is empty, so we cannot augment the path. Since we cannot find a path from S to T, our algorithm is done, and our final flow value is 19. Don't be worried if you chose different paths than I did. That's perfectly fine. Just make sure you end up with the same flow of 19. When you code this algorithm, you'll likely use depth first search at each iteration to find your paths. I won't go into depth on the time complexity, but just think that at each iteration, you'll need to do a depth first search, which has a complexity of big O of E. In addition, the maximum number of iterations is the total flow value. This will happen if you only update the flow by a value of 1 each time. This gives us a complexity of big O of 
E times F. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video and learned something, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing. Please leave comments, questions, and suggestions for new videos below. Thank you.